pretty much the same, just like this. Either we uh, get the ball and can't stop them, or uh, either they have the ball and we can't stop them, they make the plays to win, or uh, we get the ball to the offense and same thing. So uh, obviously the last couple losses we've had here uh, have been pretty much the same, heart-wrenching, and everybody obviously giving every, every effort they got. Um, it's never a lack of effort. It's just executing a little bit more, doing a little bit more from top all the way to bottom, myself obviously included in that. Um, and it just sucks. So. You, there's a lot of guys in here who you met this week. Yeah. Coach just said there's no moral victories, but I don't know if a lot of people expected it to be a one possession game with the situation you guys were in. Um, yeah, I say the same thing literally every week. Uh, this is literally the best of the best. There's no level higher than the NFL. Um, everybody who's playing in it is a part of that group, that elite group. Anybody who's played in it knows how hard it is. Um, at the end of the day, like, this is the best of the best. Every week, anything can happen. So there's no such thing as like, oh, this team is going to block. This isn't college, Alabama, and whoever. Like, this is the National Football League. What was his message to you guys after this? I mean, pretty much the same things. Like, obviously, uh, no moral victories. Uh, we already expect to play hard. It's not something that, you know, you're like, oh, I'm proud. Like, obviously, you know, it just sucks. You know, it sucks because you play hard is not our issue. Uh, just executing uh, in those crucial, crucial moments of the game. Um, just got just got to do a little bit more, and obviously just talk about making sure you're spending time with your families um, and appreciate them. Don't take none of your none of your issues home because everybody who we go home to, you know, have a big old smile on their face, excited to see us. Um, so you know, just try to have some gratitude for that and appreciate the people that support us, uh, regardless of whether we're winning or losing. What's it say about the character of this team, though? Because a lot of people would say, well, they got nothing to play for. I mean, you guys were fighting your asses off in the four quarters trying to get it. I mean, yeah, we're professionals. So, in the, the day, you know, this is our, my job. You know, if you having a crappy day at work, nobody really cares. You just got to show up and still put that camera in somebody's face. So, uh, we do the same exact thing. So, uh, I wouldn't expect anything different. Um, and I've never been in a place where it was anything different. So, uh, you know, that's just a standard. Since you mentioned incredible plays and what it takes to make those plays in those moments that you guys haven't made the last one, what's the difference between having an execute, having success in executing those plays versus not? I mean, some of it is obviously just different guys, experience, might not see certain plays until it happens in the game. And so it's just like whatever that might come up, you know, it's, it's literally been anything you can think of, you know, top to bottom. Just, there's so many different situations in the game that come up. Um, and I just think that uh, just got to try to be a little bit more dialed in and just kind of like cover everything throughout the week. And, and I talked to the guys about, you know, Robert Sala when I was a rookie told me, you know, it's one thing about being ready, but it's another thing about being prepared. And so my message to the guys is just make sure that you're prepared. Leave no stone unturned. So when you get in here on Sunday, you know, you can put your best effort forward. And uh, obviously the effort was there, but just the execution obviously wasn't good enough. Yeah, the the sack. And, and then you held, you, you knocked him for a loss on uh, by the goal line. You gave yourself a, a couple real chances to win mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did, but those penalties killed those. So, I mean, yeah. sometimes, well, sometimes we won't. So, I mean, the frustrating part is pretty much over with because we've been doing it all year. And I was just trying to find a way to make a play. All it is is making a play. I saw some guy. What's the difference? Yeah, um, just got to be the best situation football. Um, we got to win those situations. Football is about situation. We're going to be good all throughout the game, and then that one situation that come up, it can cost us. So we just got to be a better, better situation of football team. How much tougher is it to play defense when you've got eight or nine guys out there who aren't regular starters, like communication-wise, all that stuff? Is it tougher? Uh, I think the main, I think our main starters who communicate well have been out there. So the communication is, has picked up actually um, from the guys that hasn't haven't been playing. Um, the communication has picked up, but uh, we just made some, we just made some young mistakes really out there. A draining against Artie. You got to go out into it. So you yeah. played hard, played emotional, and then and then to have it slip away like it yeah. did at the I mean, end. How, how tough is that? Like I said earlier, it's, it's no longer draining anymore because we've been doing it for so been doing it all year. Uh, we're just trying to find a way. But you gotta, it's just one play. We gotta find that one play to get us over the hump. Um, we just gotta be a better situation the football team as it showed today. In the two minute, Harold got the sack, and we gave, we, we had two flags. So, I mean, the sack really didn't matter. So we gotta, we gotta do better.
when you scored late, did you think this was going to be the day? And what was kind of the message from the defense when you went out there? All you needed was to stop and win. Mm -hmm. if, if, what it was, defense score, we, we were going to get them off the field. And we didn't do that today. Yeah. Do you believe in the idea of a uh, moral victory, even after a loss? Or like, what is your mentality when it comes to something like that? Nah, we lost. Always you got to find find a way to be better on the two minutes. Um, no such thing as more victory. Either you win or you lose. And we lost today. What, uh, what do you say about the character of this team, though? Bunch of key guys out. And, you know, everybody's saying, "Well, they have nothing to play for." I mean, look yeah. for fighting your ass off. Oh yeah, I mean, we're gonna fight. I mean, I mean, this is a, it's a professional football league. If you go out there walking around, BSing, that's bad, bad things you putting on film and all 31 other teams watching it. So, I mean, we're professional. We play, we play a professional game. So we should act like as professional. Yeah, we got like what, like seven, seven one score games on them. Yeah, it sucks because you just sit around in your head. Like me personally, I can't speak for nobody else. Just sit around your head like, dang, if I would have just broke that extra tackle, if I would have just made that play. So it sucks. You kind of like, you know, put a lot of weight on yourself when that happened, but things happen. So. On that final drive, did you guys have confidence that you could get down there and at least get in field goal yeah. range? Yeah, we did. We did. But um, we know, like, you know, that, that go like collectively as, you know, running backs or whoever. Uh, like the line, we just know we can't take sacks in like two minutes. That was a two-minute drive and critical, like one time out. But ain't no fingers to be pointed. It's just they step up. And make, they stepped up amazing plays. The drive before that, when you guys were able to score to, to take the lead. I mean, was that kind of what you figured the doctor ordered? I mean, a nice long drive, chew up a lot of time, and you get the touchdown. Yeah, that was um, you know, that, that's what we try to work towards all day. You know, and we um, we were successful on that drive, so that felt really good. You know, seeing. Seeing Big Bro get in the end zone and, you know, all the guys, you know, cheering them on and, and guys blocking and playing their ass off on them. So that's always a good good sight to see. A lot of people saying, you know, oh, these guys have nothing to play for. But like you said, you guys yeah. want your ass you got, off. For you got everything to play for. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was coming out with the returners. Even, I don't even return them more. So I was just coming out with them like, man, a lot of people might say we don't got nothing to play for. them, But like, man, remember we was kids. And like, remember we like, we dreamed and wished to get here. Like, that's what we plan for. We're not playing for ourselves. You know, we plan for all those kids. So like, you know. To, to inspire them and give them hope, you know, to, for the future. You know what I'm saying? When they when they see NFL, when they see NFL, they see the Titans, they see us. So we got to be, you know, we got to be the light. We got to be hope for them. You had a lot of guys played some snaps today that maybe have not seen a lot of snaps. I mean, that's kind of been the MO of this team this season, right? Yeah, uh, and that was great, you know. Um, a few guys was banged up, but that was great uh, seeing all those different guys in the field. I told you, I mean, I was, I was super excited to see OJ play today. I think he did a really good job today. So, you know, let, let him keep on building on that and let him keep on building on his confidence because I know how I feel like feel like as a rookie. Like, things be moving so fast, moving so fast, and when you finally get put in the fire, you're like, oh, it ain't that bad. So, uh, I hats off to him because he, he work his ass off all the time.